range of BBC journalists right across the world and gathered here in this building. I'll also draw on my time reporting on global conflict, frontline experience that helps me know who to talk to and who to listen to, meaning our analysis is unbiased with absolutely no spin. Unspun World on BBC World News. This is BBC World News. I'm Nancy Kachangira. Our top stories. In Pakistan, supporters of former Prime Minister Imran Khan join him on a week-long march to the capital, renewing their calls for fresh elections. The husband of Nancy Pelosi, the US House Speaker, is taken to hospital after a violent break-in at their home in San Francisco. Elon Musk reportedly fires some of the top team at Twitter after his $44 billion takeover of the social media platform. Well, as Twitter's millions of users mull the new owner's next move, we'll ask what it could mean for content and for free speech. Also in the programme, keeping the currency current. We report from the top security Royal Mint as production begins on the first coins featuring King Charles. Hello, thanks for joining us here on BBC World News. Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan has begun leading a week-long procession of his supporters from the eastern city of Lahore to the capital Islamabad, demanding early elections. Speaking earlier at a rally, Mr Khan said they should remain peaceful during the journey. Party workers joined the convoy on motorbikes, pickup trucks and jeeps. The populist politician was ousted in April after losing a confidence vote in Parliament. Our reporter Tarub Asghar is in Lahore. 